solve the equation for x. Okay, we have 8 and we have negative 6 distributed onto both of these terms. So negative 6 times x and negative 6 times a plus 3. All right, equals, bring down the 9. We have negative 7 distributed on both of these terms. So we have negative 7 onto the x and negative 7 times a positive 2. Okay. So I have minus 6x, all right, and I have 8, take away 18. So if you have $8 and you spend 18, you've spent more money than you had. You're $10 in debt. Okay, you have negative 7x, and you have $9, and you spend 14. So now you owe what? $5. Now, which is smaller, negative 6 or negative 7? Okay, because you have x on both sides of this equation. So we need to get rid of one of these x's here. Now, which is the smallest, negative 6 or negative 7? Well, on a number line, this one is farther to the left. That makes this the smaller of the two numbers. So we're going to get rid of the negative 7x by doing what? Adding 7x here. Of course, we'll have to do the same thing over here. So that's going to give me 7x minus 6x is 1x, or just x. Bring down the 10 the equals, bring down the negative 5, and now we're going we're gonna to add 10 to both sides of the equation. Add 10 here and to the negative 5, put 10 here and here. We're going to get x equals, and you have 10, you spend 5, you have 5. So x equals 5.